Right now at 10, a special prosecutor is recruited to help with the investigation into a missing Winona woman. And a man charged in connection to a triple homicide makes an appearance in La Crosse County Court today. Plus, it is National EMS Week, a chance to recognize all that these first responders do to keep our community safe. You're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. The Winona County Attorney's Office is bringing in a special prosecutor to consult on the Madeline Kingsbury case. A representative from Minnesota's Bureau of Criminal Apprehension confirms Philip Prokopowitz is working in a consulting capacity. Now, he has previously served as Chief Deputy Attorney for Dakota County, just southeast of the Twin Cities. Madeline Kingsbury was last seen March 31st, taking her two kids to daycare with their biological father. Investigators have not named a suspect in Kingsbury's disappearance. Now, a child protection trial for Kingsbury's children is set for June 6th, since the missing Kingsbury has sole custody. The children are currently under the care of Kingsbury's parents. A man charged in connection to a 2021 triple homicide was back in court today. Comptoneth Ratanasek was scheduled to enter a plea today, but it was delayed. District Attorney Tim Granke said in court that they were working toward a plea agreement, but hadn't reached one yet. The judge set a status conference to happen after the trial of Nia Tao. Ratanasek and Tao are accused of killing Peng Lor, Nemo Yang, and Trevor Maloney. The three men were found dead at the Ramskog Quarry on County Highway M in July of 2021. Crews from roughly 30 agencies responded to a fire at the Columbia County Recycling Center just outside of Portage. The Portage Fire Chief says the garbage recycling and storage areas are up in flames. No injuries are reported so far. The chief said workers noticed a bale of cardboard on fire that spread to an entire building. Those crews are expected to be on scene overnight. Of course, we're prone to dry conditions in Portage and even in the Cooley region. High and dry lately, Bill. Yeah, last time we got decent rainfall around here was last Thursday. So we're going on almost a week and I still don't have any significant rain in my forecast right through the Memorial Day holiday weekend. So things are starting to dry out and we could use some rainfall and uh, I have at least small chances in the forecast for next week. Now temperatures today were a bit cooler, but still not bad uh, between about 70 and 78 degrees. So a very pleasant day with a mix of clouds and uh, filtered sunshine through that smoky haze. Now some radar returns have been continuing north and east of Eau Claire. Not all of this is reaching the ground. Maybe a few spits and sprinkles, so I can't fully rule that out of the forecast for tonight, but most spots will stay dry. Uh, it has been cooler to the east, 50s there. Uh, still 60 in Eau Claire, 61 in Winona, 64 here in La Crosse. So passing clouds overnight, a bit cooler. Lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Again, a spotty sprinkle, not completely out of the question. School cast for tomorrow, 7 a.m. Temperatures around 51. Probably starting with some clouds, but then going mostly sunny for the better part of the day. 65 by lunchtime. Afternoon highs around 73. If that uh, sounds a little cool to you, I've got some warmer temperatures in the eight-day forecast for sure. I'll share that in just a few minutes. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Bill. Well, Democrats on Wisconsin's Budget Writing Committee made a push to study paid family leave. A proposal put forward today would have hired an economist to study potential losses due to net migration away from Wisconsin to other states that have paid leave. Republicans blocked the proposal through a procedural move, with GOP lawmakers saying it was too similar to a proposal they struck out of the governor's budget plan. There is a bipartisan effort behind a Wisconsin bill that would put teachers who sexually harass students in prison and take away their licenses. The measure would apply to school employees, contractors, or volunteers. If found guilty of the felony, they could spend up to three and a half years behind bars. Teachers would lose their licenses for at least six years if convicted of sexual misconduct. An audit is putting the blame on Wisconsin's Department of Health for how it awarded grants and ventilators to health care providers during the height of the pandemic. The nonpartisan Legislative Audit Bureau reviewed documents for 31 grants totaling more than $3 million. The audit showed 10 grant recipients who were awarded more than $500,000 didn't submit sufficient documentation. The audit also found inconsistencies with ventilator distribution and showed that six machines are still missing as of January. The head of the state DHS responded, disagreeing that there wasn't enough documentation and that the circumstances were unusual. However, she did say the agency will take corrective steps recommended in the audit. The National Alliance for Period Supplies says two in five people struggle to buy supplies due to low income. 
Now as part of National Period Poverty Awareness Week, a lacrosse nonprofit is providing feminine products to local women in need. The Women's Fund of Greater Lacrosse recently held a period product drive where community members donated hundreds of those products, and those are now available at Wafer and Women's Clothes Closet. Women's Fund members say they want to build a community where every woman and girl has access to those products. If they're unable to afford it, that can impact negatively impact school attendance, their ability to work effectively, to to be at work when they need to be. Um, so it's a very important issue uh, as a whole in our nation. The Women's Fund continues to advocate for easy access to menstrual products and encourages the community to donate at future product drives. For more information, we've got a link posted on our website. After the break, it's National EMS Week as first responders keep their community safe. One firefighter says they're getting called to action more often. And more than 100 volunteers place flags at the grave sites of wartime veterans in La Crosse County. Our phones keep us constantly connected. But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? To limit screen time, but not quality time. And to give us rhythm instead of algorithms. Introducing Us Mode. Set your phone for human connection at U.S. Cellular. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Okay, I think we're all aware that most cell companies only give you the lowest price when you sign up for multiple lines. But U.S. Cellular gives you just one line for $29.99, plus they'll give you $200. So you don't have to get more lines than you no, need. No, you hang up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Welcome back to News A Now at 10. This week is National EMS Week. It is a chance to celebrate EMS practitioners and the important work that they do in our nation's communities. News A Now's Jeremy Wall spoke with a first responder tonight and joins us live in studio. Jeremy. Ken, it began nearly 49 years ago to recognize the accomplishments of EMTs and paramedics. It happens every year in, in May and was authorized by President Gerald Ford. Lieutenant Jeremy Southworth with the Onalaska Fire Department says it's critical because 80% of what they do is taking care of people. Lieutenant Southworth also says how being a paramedic has changed throughout the years. The longer I get into my career, uh, the busier every community gets, um, the more, more calls for service that we get. We're an aging population. Um, being that we're an aging population, uh, more of us are, are relying on uh, EMS care, whether it's pre-hospital care or uh, in hospital care. Southwards, Southworth adds there's a wide array of EMS in our community that goes beyond an ambulance, fire department, and hospital. Ken? All right, Jeremy, thanks very much. National EMS week ends on Saturday. Meantime, more than 100 volunteers took to La Crosse County cemeteries ahead of Memorial Day. Groups with the La Crosse Memorial Day Association and various veteran groups placed flags at the graves of wartime veterans. 150 volunteers spread out to 13 cemeteries to put flags at nearly 8,000 grave sites. Those flags will stay until Flag Day on June 14th. Still ahead, spring flooding is still affecting a La Crosse area campground. Officials at Goose Island say they're not able to open up some parts of the grounds because they're still cleaning up. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. Temperatures were a little cooler today, but still a few degrees above average. Now the warmest high so far this month, 83 degrees. We may beat that before the month is over. I'll explain with my eight day forecast coming up next. And a good afternoon, everyone. Well, I told you I'd share my costume. Here it is. Don't try this at home, kids. This is very dangerous. Now, in the meantime, things are going to be quite nice today. If you've been outside, you already know that. We're 
banking that ridge of high pressure oh, right over there. And uh, you can see winds coming up from the southeast because of that. My goodness, it's so nice to have a hand in Iowa and a head in eastern Montana. It's kind of a neat thing. You should try this sometime, folks, especially as we head into Wednesday night and Thursday. There we go. <laughs>
uh, to be seen in terms of rainfall. It's been almost a week now. We talked about that last Thursday is the last time we saw some measurable rain here in the cross. 77 was the high today, so cooler, but still two degrees above average. 93 and 34 are the records and no rainfall. In fact, for the month, we're approaching an inch and a half short of average. And it's that time of year where farmers are planting and uh, Folks are planting gardens, flowers, getting the lawn going, and we want some rainfall from time to time. So uh, hopefully sooner than later, Mother Nature will change this pattern, get us back into at least some periodic rain from time to time. Uh, 64 degrees out at the airport, Mississippi rising, probably will crest again right around 10 feet and then gradually start to fall again. This rise is from some heavy rain that fell a couple of weeks ago over central Minnesota had nothing to do with snow melt other than the fact that the river was already running pretty high. Uh, 60 degrees for you folks in Eau Claire. The Chippewa River is holding steady. Very well defined cold front kind of backed its way across the area, but not overly strong cold front. So 60s and 70s to the south and west of it, 50s and 60s on the other side of it. Coolest air today was north and east of La Crosse and Eau Claire. Easterly wind, though, that's what's ushering in kind of that cooler breeze, and that's why it's going to be a little bit cooler tonight. Now, if you look at radar, you'd think it's raining up here. Now, not all of this is reaching the ground. Just some very light showers or spotty sprinkles, I think, at best, and that will continue to kind of drift south and east on the uh, north side of this frontal boundary, which is just kind of washing out as it gradually shifts to the south and west across the region. So Sky Tracker will show that passing clouds. Again, maybe a few spits and sprinkles in spots. Not a big deal. Uh, otherwise, dry tomorrow as we go mostly sunny after some clouds to start. But that uh, high pressure ridge will continue to be anchored over the Great Lakes, keep us dry and keep any kind of significant storm chances or rain chances well to our west across the northern and central plains. All right, zone forecast for tomorrow showing temperatures topping out in the Lower 70s in the La Crosse area, maybe around 73 degrees. So even though it's going to be cooler than average by a couple of degrees, pretty pleasant. Uh, upper 60s to low 70s will be common elsewhere. In fact, most spots will see highs between about 70 and 74, maybe 75 degrees in a few spots. And again, after some morning clouds, lots of sunshine through the day. So for tonight, passing clouds, a spotty sprinkle can't be fully ruled out. Lows in the upper 40s to uh, lower 50s. Tomorrow becoming mostly sunny, uh, a pleasant day, 73 for the high. Seasonable again on Friday, 76, flirting with 80 on Saturday, then 80s for high Sunday and Memorial Day, still looking dry through the holiday. And then some low end rain chances next Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, but warmer. Upper 80s might even be flirting with 90 degrees in some spots towards the middle of next week. But after all, June 1st is next Thursday. Yeah. So summer about to start in a big way in full swing it's been an absolute treat to see you do that every single night it's been fun yeah it's been a dream of mine uh, for a long time so uh, and uh, still don't know what I'm doing next so uh, stay tuned I will I will keep you all updated for sure on our social media pages and uh, other avenues and and uh, let you know where I go next. We appreciate it. Thank you, Bill. Thanks. Coming up next in sports, the Brewers looking to take the series over the defending champion Astros, plus the Packers back at it for OTAs. Hear what one rookie is saying about his fellow teammates so far. Rob is in next. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Your health care should be unique to you. At Mayo Clinic Health System, they get to know your story and customize a treatment plan that fits your needs. Action. Get up to 50% off list prices at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. These incredible beds, both at our lowest price ever. Or this beefy recliner marked way down. Up to 50% off at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Don't miss this one. The GMC Sierra with hands-free driving. Yeah, it rocks. Step up to GMC with 0.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on Sierra Light Duty models. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. Okay, hold on. I don't think it's going to pivot anymore. Just like pivoting from heating the cooling season, it's a difficult adjustment. Pivot in the summer. Call GNT. Pivot. Shut up. On GNT. For the best seating air conditioning, guaranteed. May is 
Maytag Month in Menards, and we're passing savings on to you with the largest in-stock appliance selection. Find the best prices on Maytag Appliances. Right now, save over $800 on this great Maytag laundry pair after sale price and rebate. Update your bathroom with a Moen faucet that suits your style. Moen faucets give you a lifetime of beauty, reliability, and innovative features. Get this Micah bathroom faucet for $99.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at the I don't know how it's all going to fit. And action! Now with Slumberland, 999 gets you everything. An adjustable base with head-up, foot-up, remote, a Sealy Posturepedic mattress, plus a seven-piece bedding bundle free. Get a fitted sheet, flat sheet, two pillows, two pillowcases, and a duvet. All that, just 999 Only at Slumberland. Cut! News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. Just 109 days until the Packers make their way to Chicago for week one against the rival Bears, but there's still some work to be done over the next 15 and a half weeks in order for the green and gold to be as ready as they can be for a grueling NFL season. It's obvious the Packers will look a lot different in 2023 with a new leader on the offensive side of the ball and first year starter Jordan Love, and he'll be throwing to a bunch of young receivers too, but rookie wideout Jaden Reed says, learning from second year receivers Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, couple guys who were in his shoes last season could be a good thing. They can kind of relate to everything I'm going through and everything right now. And, you know, I mean, they figure things out quick. They know the playbook, like the back of their hand. Those great guys, they, they show the example, they show the standard. You know, I try my best to, to follow that standard, and, you know, that's what it's going to take for us to be great. OTA sessions will be held until June 8th. Mandatory mini camp for the Packers kicks off the following week. Rubber game for the Brewers and Astros in Milwaukee. Top one, the crew going right to work. Willie Adamas with a man on, gets all of this one straight away center. That ball is gone. Adamas gets to where the cheese head after a two run shot. And in the seventh, Owen Miller's gonna join him. Almost the same exact spot. Same result for Miller. This one, a solo shot to put the Brewers up three. And the celebration cheese head gets passed on. And I think Brian Anderson wants to wear it too later in the inning. He blasts this one the other way deep to right. Make it 4 nothing Brewers. They make it 2 out of 3 over the Strohs. 4 nothing the final. Back-to-back -back shutouts for Milwaukee. Adrian Hauser, fantastic. 5 and a third. No runs, just two hits allowed on the day. Twins looking to avoid being swept at home by the Giants. This is a good start for Minnesota. Edouard Julien drives it deep to left center. Lead-off solo shot for Julien makes it one nothing Twins. Giants even things up, though, in the second. Casey Schmidt. Lines a base hit in the right field. Mike Yastrzemski's going to come in to score. We're all tied at one. But in the bottom of the inning, Minnesota jumps back in front for a good. Matt Walner scorches one to right. It's going to one-hop the wall. Willie Castro comes in to score on the RBI double. Twins avoid the sweep. They get the win, 7-1. to one. Baseball playoffs are underway in Minnesota, and the Lancers are moving on. La Crescent Hoka gets the win 7-5 over Lewiston Altura at home. Lancers will look to keep their season alive on Saturday as they welcome in fifth seed Chatfield at 1 p.m. I love playoffs. Man. Absolutely. Love playoffs. Yeah, and it's wrapping up, uh, well, wrapping up in a couple weeks, so the next two weeks are an absolute whirlwind. Softball, track, baseball. baseball. Let's get it on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I want to play. Absolutely. And I state wish I track. Still had eligibility left. How does that work? Mm, yeah, I think Can you're I play well. For UWL? No, I think you're well past that. I still got the swing, man. <laughs> I still got it. You know, let's ring up the coach, see if they got a roster spot, <laughs> finagle something with the NCAA. We'll see. <laughs> Rob, thanks very much. You got it. We will be right back. This Thursday, one day only, earn a 40 cent high V fuel saver for every $60 you spend. That's a 40 cent fuel saver for every $60. Thursday only and only at High V. Okay, I think we're all aware that most cell companies only give you the lowest price when you sign up for multiple lines. What? Multiple lines? Hello? Yeah, uh-huh. One sec. But U.S. Cellular gives you just one line for $29.99 with unlimited data. Just one line with unlimited data. So you don't have to get more lines than you no, need. No, you hang up. Are you even listening, guy who never looks up from his phone? Oh, never me. I just say. Okay, so no. No, you're not listening. Get one line for $29.99. Plus, we'll give you an extra $200. U.S. Cellular built for us. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for Auto Show, where you can experience new Ford SUVs firsthand. 
Then head to your Northland Ford dealers for exclusive offers like 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. It's showtime. Hurry in today. Now for a limited time only, get 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. If you've been waiting for the best time to buy furniture, this is it. The King Furniture Memorial Day Weekend Sale, where everything in our showroom has been reduced. Find sofas, sectionals, bedrooms, recliners, dining, and more. Plus 12 months interest-free financing. These deals only last through Memorial Day Weekend, as we will be closed on Memorial Day to remember and honor our nation's heroes. Don't miss the King Furniture Memorial Day Weekend Sale. Going on now. Your home improvement company's team of experts can help you choose the perfect style and color options for your bathroom remodel. Plus, with our affordable financing options, we can take the stress out of your life and get you the bathroom of your dreams. And all of our installers are trained and certified professionals, so you can trust that your project is done right the first time. Contact your home improvement company today and let us help you transform your bathroom into a beautiful and functional space. Your home improvement company, where it's your home made better. This Thursday, one day only, earn a 40 cent high V fuel saver for every $60 you spend. That's a 40 cent fuel saver for every $60. Thursday only, and only at High V. Expect more from News 8 Now. Thanks for watching. Welcome back, everybody. As many of you know, this is Bill's final show on WKBT. Farewells are never easy, but we recruited some familiar faces and fond friends uh -oh. to help us <laughs> oh, wish no. Bill the absolute best. If you would have told me in 1998 that I was about to meet one of my dearest friends at my place of employment at WKBT TV, I don't know if I would have believed you, but here we are. One of my dear friends is now saying goodbye after a very successful 25 year career. We are all so proud of you. We are all so lucky to have worked with you and we are all so excited for your next journey. Be well, my friend, you know where to find me. How lucky are the viewers of this region to have you on their TV screen or in their social media feed for these past 25 years? I guess what I and I think a lot of the viewers loved most about you um, here in the region is that you didn't just give a weather report, you always educated us on things like what is a snow squall warning? What is a Colorado hooker or a bomb cyclone? So best of luck in retirement. I know I will be seeing you even though you're gonna be in Colorado um, sometime soon, so take care. Oh, Bill, lacrosse is going to miss you so much. You are seriously the best in the biz and I feel so honored that I got to work with you for so long. Not only work with you, but call you a friend and um, I'm, excited for you guys to get back to Colorado. I know it's always been a dream of yours and um, just start this new chapter of your family's life. Uh, we'll miss you terribly, but uh, we can't wait to plan a vacation out to Colorado. Good luck and have a safe move as you head out west. One thing that I noticed immediately was the chemistry that we had. Um, it was like feeling you were at home with the person next to you. And a big part of that was the laughter that we had, the laughter over and over and over again. And all of a sudden, it goes from somebody brand new next to you to somebody that, that feels like he's your other half at your job. The banter was often. We love to poke each other's buttons, and he's just, he's funny. He's got this dry sense of humor. And uh, my goodness, you might see an Elvis blow down the street as well, especially if you're at the lacrosse center over the weekend. But the thing that always made me laugh the most was watching him try not to laugh. And it is the best thing to listen to Bill Grawl try not to laugh because inevitably he fails and he always ends up laughing longer and then it's just like go to commercial break because you won't be able to get it back. Uh, low symptoms today and tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jen's making me laugh here the commercial breaks. Not fair, not fair. I learned pretty quickly with him that on days when there was inclement weather, he's all business. And the reason is he cares so deeply about making sure 
that our community stayed safe. He's a really smart at what he does and he's really good at it and he cares deeply about keeping people safe. And I think people felt that and that's why he's been so loved in our community. If you know him and you've watched him over the years, you know that Colorado is in his heart. Guess where? Colorado? Colorado. Nice. As someone who went to uh, University of Colorado and uh, the front range of Colorado, look at that. Friends in for Oktoberfest uh, from Colorado. I've seen one or two out in Colorado where I come from, Colorado. It was always calling him. And I know this is what he needs to do for his family. Bill, I love you and you will always be special and hold a, a special place in my heart. Um, I'm so happy for you, I'm sad for me, but I'm so happy for you. And um, stay in touch. Great help from our friends. So, not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Grawl, the floor is yours. I had it all together and, uh, and then that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just want to thank you all uh, for 25 years uh, for trusting me. Uh, Thank you guys for being incredible colleagues and, and some of the ones that were mentioned there and there's so many more <laughs> that you know we could do an hour show. Yes. So, And reading all of your comments on Facebook and everything else, uh, please know that I've read every single one <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it means the world to me. It fills the heart and uh, it makes the 25 years of the hard work here all so worth it. So thank you. <laughs> And I'll see you, see you around. And we are going sure. we are gonna miss the absolute heck out of you. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll miss the Cooley region for sure. It's been uh, 25 years. I mean, raised three kids here. Yeah. Um, you know, sports. You know, going to the school events. I mean, it's just uh, the community has been so good to me, and it's been such a, a pleasure to be a part of it for all this time. And uh, that's why we'll be back a lot to visit for sure. Yeah. So I mean, the community grew up with you. They raised kids alongside you. You were you and Jen an absolute mainstay yeah. for their their daily routine for more than 20 years. Yeah, Jen Jen and I had an amazing run, and uh, like she said, I'll I'll never forget it. And uh, I love her as well. And she people thought we were married. Like <laughs> <laughs> first of all, <laughs> but second of all, uh, that that was the chemistry and that was the friendship, and uh, it, it meant the world to me. And and uh, again, everyone else I worked with along the way. Um, it's been great, and thank you. Thank you very much. Incredible thank meteorologist, you. incredible coworker, and friend. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Ken. We will be right back after this. Selling your car yourself can take weeks. Selling to an online reseller takes days. Selling your car to Doll Auto takes 30 minutes. Bring your title and keys and leave with a check. Doll Auto, simple. Dad always said I was special. Then I would do something big, someday. But for a while, we were just worried about getting to tomorrow. At UW Health, we found the team that made it their mission. Not just to get me through the day, but to give me a new life and a new kidney. Now, my future is infinite. UW Health, remarkable. Get four Arby's Classic Roast Beef Sandwiches for just 10 bucks. That's one for now, one after that, one to celebrate the first two, and one more because that's how many four is. Arby's, we have the meat. Community, it's baked into everything we do. And with Perkins Strawberry Freshable, everyone can enjoy fresh strawberries starting at just $8.99. Indulge in all our favorites. And don't forget a slice of strawberry pie from our bakery. Order online at PerkinsToGo.com. It's time for amazing Memorial Day savings at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Right now, shop unbeatable deals on everything you need for summer. Like Kingsford Charcoal Briquette Combo Packs, just $16.99. Scott's Turf Builder Weed and Feed or Lawn Food, $15 off after sale and mail-in rebate. And this 50-foot woods extension cord, just $14.99. Plus, Blaine's Rewards members get free same-day delivery on all pet supply orders of $49 or more. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. It's the Bobby Bones Show. Come hang. You are going to hear the biggest stars in country music. I admit it, I was starstruck. 
Like, I'm training. You train like you're a professional athlete. You never know when I'm going to get the call into the big leagues. Yeah, but how old are you? And they stay there! The biggest stars, the best music, and the most fun. Join me, Bobby Bones, every weekday morning starting at 6 on Kix 106.3. Experienced sales consultants are good listeners who sell people what they need, not what's on sale. They're easy to work with and value a trusting relationship. We know team members with these life skills earn lifelong customers. Doll Auto, simple. Again, a bit cooler overnight, lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s, 70s through Saturday, then 80s return Sunday and Memorial Day, and flirting with 90 next week. Thank you so much, Bill Graw. It's been a pleasure. Years. <laughs> the, the, greatest. Just the greatest. Walk off into the sunset, right? <laughs> we'll see you later, everybody.